Hi guys, welcome to Flying Grip Academy. Today we are going to discuss about uh, how to install Ubuntu in Windows. The first thing is uh, you are going to check uh, by pressing the command prompt. Once if you are typing the bash command, you can able to notice that a particular URL is shown here https aka.ms slash wsl store this particular message is shown because the particular bash command so whether you have installed ubuntu or not so before installing the ubuntu what you need to do is you need to have a feature in control panel now go to control panel here if you are going to type control panel you are having a turn on window features so go to program here you are having an options windows turn on features on and on so go to here and what you need to do is you need to tick this particular item so windows subsystem for linux so if this particular box may disable you need to enable this particular box so once if you are going to enable the windows subsystem for linux then you are set right for installing the linux the next thing is you need to go to the store of microsoft windows type store if you are going to type the store it will open the microsoft store in microsoft store what you are going to do is you are going to search for a particular app called ubuntu so now you are going to type ubuntu here so here if you are going to search the ubuntu it will show the different versions of ubuntu okay so here you can able to check apps you can search apps whatever the app you want to install here you can able to check you want to 20 uh, 20.4.5 if you want to get this feature you can get this particular thing so now it is going to get installed so now it will take a uh, time so after that it is going to install so now what i am going to do is i have already installed the ubuntu app so now i am going to open this particular ubuntu app now i have opened ubuntu app successfully so if you are installing it will be asking your uh, username and password once you are going to give the username and password you are successfully done for example if you want to set the font size for this one for a larger size you can able to increase the font size by clicking the right click properties and here you can able to increase the size of the font now what i am going to do is i am going to do the first command sudo apt hyphen get update so now i would like to get the update of the system i have given a username and password and i am going to type the username and password for this one so now it is going to start to get the updates for you and after the updates are finished it allows the user uh, to work with the linux and whatever the commands uh, if you would like to install all the commands can be worked by the ubuntu it will fetch of you all the updates present in this one so there are two options are available update and another one is upgrade if you want to update by keeping the version existing version as it is you go for update if you want to install the latest version of ubuntu you will go for an option called upgrade now all all the things are set right now updates are finished so now let us run a particular command ls 
to list all the files and directories. So now ls has not shown all the files. I am going to use hyphen a. It is going to include the hidden file also. If I am typing ls hyphen al, it is going to list in a serial order. So some particular files which are hidden uh, system files, it also list, list out system files and directories which are hidden. The next command which we are going to use is ls mount. So mount command is used to list all the volumes which is present in your computer. So if you go to PC, here we are having a C, D, E, F and G. We are having a totally five volumes. So now if you are going to see C, D, E, F, G, we are having a five volumes. We would like to switch to G drive. So I am going to type G. So that I am going to switch to the particular drive called G. So in order to switch to the particular drive, I am going to use a CD command. CD stands for change directory. I am going to change the particular path to G. So now here you can able to notice I have moved to G. So now in G drive I have moved. So now if I am going to type ls command, it is going to list whatever the folders are present residing in my G drive. So now what I am going to do is I am going to use a clear command to clear the screen and now I am going to use cat command. So cat command is used to print the content and as well as create a particular file. And I am going to type the command uh, uh, file called hello. The file name is hello.txt. So now I am going to type some particular content inside the file hello.txt. So here I am going to type hello. I am file from Ubuntu. Load in G drive. So now I am pressing Control D and later on Control C. So now if I want to view the content of the file, I am using a upper arrow. So in order to get the recent command, cat paste hello dot text. Now here you have got a message that hello I am file from Ubuntu stored in G drive. So next I am going to clear the screen. Here you came to know cat command. So now I would like to install the CC compiler and GCC compiler. For that purpose, what I am going to do is, I am going to use a command sudo apt get install gcc so that we can able to compile the C programs by using a gcc compiler. So now it is taking the update for some time so that it can able to set up gcc compiler. So now everything is set right. Now GCC is installed successfully. Let us try our first C program. For that I am typing vi space hello.c. So before that what I am going to do is uh, I am going to uh, create a directory. I have already created a directory C programs. C programs and I am typing ls. So now hello.c is a program I, which I have typed already. vi space hello.c. So which is going to open the vi editor. Here I have included the header file include stdio.h and uh, int main printf hello I am a C program and return 0. So now in order to save the program escape followed by colon wq. wq stands for save and quit the program. Now gcc space hello.c in order to compile the program. So now there are no errors as are encountered. So now I am going to execute the program dot backslash a dot out. 
hollow. So now here you can able to notice output hello I am a C program. So in this manner you can able to execute the C program. Thank you. Thank you for uh, watching. Please subscribe and like my channel. Thank you.